It's Sex, Drugs, and Permaculture on 180 Radio. It's Sex, Drugs, and Permaculture, and we're talking sex. Joni? Down chicka wow wow. <laughs> <laughs> and our, our thank goodness we've got Christopher Ryan. We've got Sex at Dawn in the house. Thank you. Great to be here. No, I, well, the thing is, you know, as we, as we mature, I think our dreams should as well. Right. And, you know, so we give up Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny at some point. And so painful as that is, maybe we also have to give up this notion of, you know, Hollywood perfect live happily ever after relationships. Because ultimately, those dreams are what create a lot of unhappiness for us because right. we have unrealistic expectations of, of our relationships. But, you know, that's why we start Sex at Dawn talking about food, you know, because I think that's another one of these things that we experience very intimately, very deeply, uh, you know, and, and also it keeps me humble because, you know, when people say to me, look, you know, I read your book, it makes a lot of sense to me, but, you know, I, uh, I could never, I'm monogamous, that's just the way I am, relationships. Joni, you watch a, a show about non-monogamy? Yeah, well, I wanted to I wanted to to bring this up because it was really supportive to what you had to say, Christopher. And, and let me start say this first that I appreciate your humility in the in the topic, and I, I like um, how you're presenting everything. It, it makes it so much easier to kind of swallow. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. It really does. You want to and, choose different words there? I'll try. Okay. I'll try well, my well, best you, to expand I mean, you my may dictionary. Have, you may have noticed one of the main complaints we get from people is that there's no advice in the book. No, yeah. no, you know? it's it's essentially a it's essentially a technical argument, right? And, and our publishers were really pushing us to like end the book with a chapter on you know here are the seven steps to a happy marriage, and we refused oh, to do it. And I'm so right. glad we did. I just want to throw this to you: Why is the the anthropological, the paleontological, and the uh, what were the bio, whatever the animal studies, the mammalian studies, the bird studies? Why do they point to the details and then? come to a, a radically different conclusion based on pure emotion and will. Yeah, well, it reminds me of this sort of um, pre-Copernican understanding of, of the solar system, right, where the scientists, up to and including Galileo, were required to <clears throat> continue to conclude that the Earth was the center of the solar system. You know, despite the fact that their instruments were clearly showing a completely different model that made a lot more sense, where everything fit together better. And, you know, scientists always uh, talk about how the simplest answer is normally the correct one. And there's a reason for that, you know. Um, but there's a, one of the, the points that we try to make in the book is how um, biased so much science is. Mm -hmm. 